Hello, this book is called The Boy Who Painted the Sun. It is by Jill Morris and illustrated by Jeff Hawking. The Boy Who Painted the Sun. A boy lived on a farm where there were some sheep and a brown dog who yapped and yapped at their heels and helped to round them up and a tall grey horse which the boy hoped one day to ride. There was a black and white cow and a tortoise shell, tortoise shell cat who kept her kittens hidden in the barn and some rusty coloured phantom chickens who squawked and fluttered in the golden hay. It's a very busy farm. In his room, through a crack in the wall, the boy could see the sky. Through the crack in the floor, he could see the ground. Flowers grew around his window and tried to come inside. But times were hard. People were moving to the city. The farm was sold. The boy's family went to live in a cold, dark building in a city street. Next door, there was a factory, then the gasworks fence. The house looks very different to the farm. The clangour of the city soon shut out the country noises in his mind. The boy sat on the doorstep and watched the sad faces as they shuffled past. At last, he stayed in bed all day with his eyes tightly closed. When he closed his eyes, he could see all the pictures of the farm inside his head. One day, a man came to the door. He was selling matches and shoelaces and a giant-sized paint boxes nobody wanted to sell in the shops. The boy's mother felt sorry for the man. She bought a pair of shoelaces for her husband, a box of matches to light the kitchen stove, and a giant-sized paint box to cheer up her son. Only tuppence a penny, ma madam, he said. The boy opened his eyes to look at the colours inside. His mother brought a pot of water to put on the floor beside the bed. She spread out a piece of paper which had come wrapped around the meat. Paint me the moon, she said. The boy took the brush, dipped it into the water pot. He chose a colour and a flower grew on the paper like the flowers which had grown around his window at the farm. Alexander got out of bed. He started painting flowers everywhere. On the wall he painted a vine. On the balcony outside he painted trees. On the factory wall he painted some sheep and the brown dog who yapped at their heels and helped them to round them up and the tall grey horse he hoped one day to ride very good at painting. On the gasworks fence he painted the black and white cow and the tortoise shell cat who kept her kittens hidden in the barn and the rusty coloured bantam chickens who squawked and fluttered in the golden hay. Then he climbed up high and painted the sun. The boy's sun shone down on all the faces in the street and turned their sad grey looks to smiles. And now everyone is looking happy. And there's a tram. Looks like in the city of Melbourne. And on the other side, the moon. I think that is the end. Yes, there's the boy looking out his window. The shiny moon. I like that story. I think it's very hopeful. I hope you liked it too. Bye.